This next video is about pause. If you keep relapsing, you need to watch this video. It's key information that every person in sobriety must know. This is Rob with Treehouse Recovery, and today we're gonna to be learning about pause, which is post-acute withdrawal syndrome. Now, if you are early in recovery, or maybe you have a loved one who's early in recovery, they're definitely going through pause, which means they're gonna be experiencing a whole bunch of different symptoms, okay? And these symptoms can consist of depression, it can be mood instability, it can also be uh, physical symptoms like lack of coordination, which can be very frustrating in early recovery. It can be an inability or a difficulty falling asleep. So in this video, we're gonna learn why somebody might have those symptoms and what they can do about it. Because the most important thing that you need to remember is, well, the brain will heal, and pause symptoms will eventually go away. So, uh, pause is a biochemical withdrawal that's gonna occur after a physical detox. So once somebody gets out of detox, their brain is in a constant state of healing and will be experiencing pause. And to fully understand pause, we have to talk about the brain. So, for the sake of this lecture, we're gonna be discussing the prefrontal cortex, which is primarily responsible for cognition, logic, forward thinking, connection, has a lot of other functions, but let's focus on those for right now. And we're also gonna be talking about the limbic system. Now the limbic system is the survival center of the brain. And it jumps into action whenever there's a threat. So it's very uh, animalistic or primitive. And how a healthy operating brain will work is the prefrontal cortex is gonna be running the show unless there's a threat, and then the limbic system springs into action. And the limbic system is also responsible for your dopamine production, which is a neurotransmitter that produces a reward or euphoria. And every time we participate in a behavior that's linked to our survival, we get a reward. So if I eat some food, I'm gonna get some dopamine and feel good. If I get some sleep, I'm gonna get some dopamine and I'm gonna feel good. If I procreate, I'm gonna get some dopamine and feel good. All of these behaviors are linked to my survival as an individual or the survival of the human species. All right, so we get the reward and we continue to participate in the behavior. Now, let's look at this guy and his brain. At some point, and this guy has the disease of addiction, at some point he's gonna to start to ingest drugs. And now there's gonna be a chemically altered flood of dopamine that's gonna occur in the brain. And this guy is gonna be continuing to participate in that behavior again and again and again. And to achieve a state of homeostasis or checks and balances, the brain is going to stop natural dopamine production and thus a dopamine deficit and then producing pause and pause symptoms. So now that you have kind of a basic idea of why pause happens, it's really important to understand that these symptoms are gonna last for a period of time. If you have a history of relapse or you have a loved one who has a history of relapse, there's a good chance that they relapsed due to these pause symptoms and they didn't give themselves sufficient amount of time to heal from it. So if you'd like to learn more about pause, please see the links below or you can join me at Treehouse Recovery where I give a series of classes to really understand everything about pause and its effects and coping tools to deal with pause. This is Robert with Treehouse Recovery. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. To learn more about post-acute withdrawal syndrome, call Treehouse Recovery at 855-202-2138.